travel journey and exploration different cultures beautiful nature mountains and sky struggle and food and the life to quench the thirst Hi hello namaste vanakkam adab mere dosto so how are you all doing i am back with an another interesting place in our lovely telangana our telangana is known for many marvelous architectural constructions starting from hyderabad's charminar to medak's medak church everything is a marvel one such marvel place in telangana is amapalli sri sita rama devasthan According to Wikipedia this is not just a simple temple like any other in the state but also a UNESCO heritage structure which is spread over 250 acres in land Ammapalli Sri Sitarama temple is a very ancient temple located in Shamshabad zone near a small village called Ammapalli which is 40 kilometers away from the Hyderabad city it is believed that this temple was built by Vengi Chalukyas between 11th and 13th century also one of the most visited temples by film stars and politicians this place is quite famous for film shootings as well every film which was shot here was a hit starting from sri potuluri veerabrahmendra swami film to the very recent rebel film a total of more than 450 films were shot so far Coming back to the interesting facts about the temple structure the Gali Gopuram is one of the prominent attractions of this temple and it is 90 feet in height people and legends say that this temple was taken as a reference during the construction of Chamina All the bare loading structures of this temple are built with single granite and normal limestone was used as a mortar. The prahari walls along the side of the Gali Gopuram are a symbol of hindu and islamic architecture 
Another attraction in this temple is the Koneru. The Koneru is nothing but a stone-faced water tank with steps around it. Festivals like Bhatkamma, Deepavali, and most importantly, Sri Rama Navami are celebrated very grandly every year by dropping the diyas and flowers in the Koneru. This Koneru has two mandapas. The one on the left hand side of the mandapa represents the Hindu architecture and the other on the right hand side of the mandapa represents the Islamic or the Afghan architecture. Another interesting fact about the Mula Virat that is the main DIT statue is that it was chiseled from a single stone and the structures of such kind are very rarely seen in the whole part of India. Also, the Kala Toranam behind the main DIT along with the god resembles the Dasavataras of Sri Mahavishnu which makes this temple even more pious for the devotees. One amazing thing you will observe in this temple is that there won't be Sri Hanuman present along with Sri Sita, Rama and Lakshmana. And the reason behind this is that it was stated by the priest is that Sri Sita, Rama and Lakshmana did not meet Sri Hanuman until then during their exile period. So basically it is said that the temples like these are built everywhere where Sri Sita Rama and Lakshmana halted and took rest for a period of time during their exile. Moving on, we have the Nagar Khana. A Nagar Khana is nothing but a structure built for the musicians to play their musical instruments during the wedding of Sri Sita Rama, also locally known as Sri Rama Navami. The Kalyana Mandapa is exactly situated opposite side of the Galigopuram. Radhasthalam It's a place built for a parking of Radham. Radham is nothing but basically a vehicle which is used to carry the idols of the gods Sri Sita, Rama and Lakshmana during the procession in the village. Kurmam. What is a Kurmam? It is nothing but one of the Dasavataras of Sri Mahavishnu. The tortoise incarnation of Sri Mahavishnu. It is said that since tortoises are a symbol of stability and long living, having the Kurmam in the temple also makes the temple stable and long living with the energy absorbed in it. Vimana Gopura. The Vimana Gopura is a structure which is built exactly above the main DIT is known as Vimana Gopura. It is basically nothing but the structure which is built above the Garbhagriha or the inner sanctum of the Hindu temples.
So these are some of the interesting facts about the historical temple of our Telangana Ammapalli Sri Sita Rama Temple, guys. What is one interesting thing that you liked about this temple? Comment in the comment section. See you all again in the next video, my friends. Until then, take care and keep supporting. Hope you all loved and enjoyed watching this video. If so, do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, click on the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Thank you.